Um, Shalom, I praise to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. They were honest to the apostles, like great millstone ruling well and um, teaching, you know. Um, uh, here you got uh, <laughs> Express, which they like to, um, you know, a lot of the news about strange phenomenons, you know, they usually have. So I check it out now, and then I ain't checked it out for a while, to be fair, but. You know, because um, with Esau, you put lies amongst truth. But anyway, I come, I come, up, I come across this. Are we about to get proof of aliens? Clinton campaign chief tweets, "The truth is out there." Do uh, ufologists believe we are on the, on the threshold of learning the truth about aliens? After a former lawyer to the U.S. President Barack Obama hinted a big announcement about extraterrestrial life was coming. And it says here, White House aide John Podesta was dis has discussed the UFO question with Hillary. Here it's showing his um, Twitter account. It says, finally, my biggest failure of 2014, once again, not securing the disclosure of the UFO files. Hashtag the truth is out there. Uh, now, let me say this. Obviously, the elite Rothschilds, they know what the UFOs are. They're the chariots of the Lord, the Heavenly Father. You know, there's, 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 you know, another name is the chariots of the gods or whatever you want to. But the word God means powers, Allah, it's not the name of the Lord. It just means it's really a name for the angels and the spirits on, up there. You know, now they call them aliens. The word alien just means foreign. The word alien, you were foe, is, is um, synonymous with you not knowing who these people are. But when you go into the Bible, you find out that they were identified. Ezekiel come into a contact with a wheel within a wheel. So the men of the Lord, certain men of the Lord, thin, what you would call extraterrestrials, man, which are basically the angels. Okay. John Podesta, who ran the unsuccessful election campaign for Hillary Clinton, tweeted, stay tuned for the big, for big announcement tomorrow, the truth is out there. He was referring to the launch of a new project by former Blink-182 frontman Tom DeLounge involving a series of senior CIA and military officials, as reported by Express yesterday. Steve Bassett, head of the Paradigm Research Group, which campaigns for the end of an alleged truth embargo, could not contain, contain his excitement. He retweeted, um, is the circle about to close tomorrow? Now, obviously the elites, they know, man. They pull it in the movies, man. Was it the fourth? Uh, what is it? Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind, um, War of the Worlds. They know. He later added, "I do not think the truth embargo can withstand this maneuver. We are on the threshold now. You want to know if they come in peace? <laughs> they ain't coming in peace, man. And I'm gonna show you that in the scriptures, because it's the armies of the Heavenly Father, and they got troops up there, man." <laughs> and they're coming to zap this NATO and the EU, which is the beast in the book of Revelations, and America mainly. PRG believes the US government prevents anyone releasing official statements on the existence of aliens visiting the Earth. Now, have they visited the Earth? Of course, because Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel, the first chapter tells you, tells you that. There's many instances in the scriptures where men come into contact with the um, um the extra um, with the celestial beings. Okay. The group later re released a statement saying that announcement today from Tom DeLounge and his group is a major step forward in the disclosure process. It's now clear the Pentagon, CIA, and other intel agencies have decided to move towards closing the constitutional breach that has prevented disclosure from taking place since the end of the Cold War. We perhaps are on the threshold of the most profound event in human history. The most profound event in human history is when the Abu Shai comes back. Let me get that. Not you guys talking about it. Because he saw knows. He's... Obviously, he's got recordings of NASA, of chariots and stuff like this and different... You know, he knows certain things, but he's going to get invaded by these things. Revelations 1 and 7. 
Let me start from one. The revelations of Yahawashai, which Yahawashai is Hebrew, which means he's the deliverer, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. And he sent and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant Chan. So there you go. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Yahweh Shai comes with the clouds. The clouds are the chariots of the Heavenly Father, what they call UFOs, because the prophets describe them in different ways. The clouds, the chariots, wheels within wheels, pillar of fire. They're in the sky, man. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. To everybody, when the Lord invades the earth with that mega chariot, and then the angels come in those chariots, every eye is going to see him, man, and he's going to zap up these buildings and zap the, the, the beast and they also which with them with them lasers man from them chariots and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him even so am I I am the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end man so the Lord's gonna put an end to this to this kingdom man every eye is gonna see him and um, which the Alpha and Omega would be the R and the Fa in the Hebrew. And pretty much the Lord is gonna um is gonna is gonna end this kingdom and everyone's gonna be shocked because it's Yahweh Shai, which is a dark skin. He basically looks like he's a dark skinned man, if you will. He's gonna come and invade with 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 Michael and in the different angels, that's what the that's what the aliens is, man. That's what the ET phenomenon is, if you want to put put it at that. So everyone's gonna be shocked. Everyone's gonna be bogged out. That's gonna be the be biggest event in human history. Mister Podesta has previously expressed interest in UFO, UFO phenomenon during the U.S. election campaign. WikiLeaks released confidential emails between him and the lounge, but the elites were rough shells now. They know what's going on. Mrs. Clinton also pledged during her campaign that she would find out the truth about aliens and the mysterious Area 51 based in Nevada if she made it to the White House. Now, Area 51 is just a place, man, you know. The description says the Lord is as is, is, is many an, uh, angels out there, man. And they, and they visit, they, they, you see, there's char chariot sightings all over the place. So it's bigger than some effing Area 51. Because the, the, the angels don't look like these dudes here, man. With the big green heads and all of that. They've just put that out there to... Because um, he swore they're not going to tell you the truth. He's going to give you lies. Because, if you you know, they've already got documentaries telling you that the UFOs were the chariots of the angels, man, or the chariots of the Lord. Apostle Tahar brought that out, they had that documentary. I can't remember the name of it. That's what Esau does, mate. So let me get this. Isaiah 66, 15, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So how is the Lord coming back with the chariots? The UFO means an unidentified flying object, mate. The Lord's coming back with spaceships. You know, the, the scripture calls them the chariots, man. Chariots of fire, chariots of the Lord, you know. They're basically the chariots of the Lord, man. The, 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 the super ships. So Esau knows, especially the Rothschilds, they know. They know what's going on. They know exactly what's going on. They make movies on it. The so-called top 
so-called Jews in Hollywood that make the movies, War of the Worlds and stuff, they know what's going on, you know. You know, them, them dudes know, man. Them dudes know. Top Masons and 33rd degree levels or whatever top, like Albert Pike and them, they, them guys knew certain things, man. You know? So basically, man, that's what that is. The Lord's coming back to level these these things straight. So that's why you're getting articles like this because we're in the we're in the exciting time. We're in the biggest time. We're in the we're in the, we're in the most exciting time on the planet ever. Okay. <laughs> Is alien truth coming out? Military insiders will lift lid on UFOs. Well, people see them anyway, and they're in the scriptures, man. People, people have seen them now. People are uploading them independently. And there's there's British websites, there's a site in Britain where people you can upload your independent sightings and people upload their videos on there. So people people are seeing these things, man. In the cities and the countrysides, man. Anyway, with that I'm gonna say Shalom and um, the Lord is coming back, man. In these in these spaceships, you know. Shalom.